making treats. Cheese bread. Cheese bread. So this is also the same recipe that we use to make our homemade pizza dough. Uh, so you could use this dough interchangeably, either turning it into a pizza crust or a cheese bread dough. All you need for this is one tablespoon of yeast, a cup of warm water, a tablespoon of honey, two teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of olive oil, and three cups of flour. And then you'll need some other ingredients when we, when we get ready to put the cheese on top of our cheese bread. But we're just going to start with the dough first because this does have to rise. All right, so you're going to put your tablespoon of yeast. We can go ahead and just mix that right in with our one cup of warm water. I did already uh, go get the warm water. So I'm just going to mix that up and just let that sit for a little bit while I measure the rest of the things into our mixing bowl. You're going to need a tablespoon of honey. You want to add that right into the measuring cup. You can go ahead and do that too. The honey is really our sugar in this uh, recipe. So instead of using sugar in our dough, we're going to use honey. It makes it a little bit healthier for you. Uh, we like the honey in the dough. Okay, so we're going to mix that up. That's going to help proof our yeast a little bit and speed up the rising process. All right, you're going to need two teaspoons of salt and two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm just going to add my two teaspoons of salt right here. And then once our yeast is all mixed up, I'm going to add that right into our mixing bowl as well. Stir that together. Oh, you like cheese bread. You just don't like pizza. Okay, so we're going to put this in our stand mixer. You could do all this by hand, but it would take a lot more muscle power. Uh, so I like to use my hand mixer for this and let the mixer do the work. All right, so we're mixing our salt up in this. Now I'm going to add my two tablespoons of olive oil right into this mixture. One and two. Okay, I'll put a little bit extra in. No big deal. All right. Now what I'm going to do is stir in one cup of flour to this. Remember, kind of sift your flour a little bit right in your container. There's one cup of flour. We're just going to stir that with a wooden spoon. Just because there's not a ton of flour, it's going to be a little bit lumpy at this stage. That's okay. It's going to soften out as you add more flour. There's one cup. You can do the same thing for two cups. You add your flour one cup at a time. It helps everything stay incorporated all the way through the dough. There's two cups. Stir that up and then we will put on our hook attachments for the last cup of flour. We're starting to get a dough now. We've got it. It's pretty sticky right now. When we add our third cup of dough, then it will take shape. All right, so we're going to turn this on. And then add one more cup of flour. Then what we're going to have to do is let this knead for about seven minutes. We'll come back here after it's done that. Okay, after seven minutes or so is up, you're going to see that your dough is shaking up pretty nicely. That's what it's going to look like in there attached to your hook. I'm just going to use my wooden spoon and remove it from the hook. Then what we're going to do is oil down our bowl. So this is no longer sticky. It is in a nice round shape. We're going to take some olive oil, just swirl it around our bowl. Take the top of your circle, swish that around your bowl so you have oil all around the sides, and then flop the bowl over so that the oil side is up. Okay, then we're just going to cover this with a towel and let this rise for about an hour in a warm spot. Now it's time to put the cheese bread together. All right, so after you've let your dough sit for about an hour, it's going to double in size in your in your bowl. We're going to punch it down. Oh, 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 I'm coming. Hold on, I really need to punch it once. Okay, so what you're going to do, I like to use cornmeal for this step. If you only have flour, that would work too. But I just kind of cover my surface area with some cornmeal, that's what's going to um, prevent our dough from sticking to our pan. What is cornmeal? This right here. <laughs> okay, so 
Okay, so what we're going to do is just use our rolling pin. Can you step over to the side for me? And roll this out into whatever shape you desire. Um, I, I make this cheese bread into a lot of different shapes. We've turned it into ghosts before. We've what? turned it into um, Christmas trees. I don't remember this. We did. Um, How much I can make my pizza? Lots of different shapes. It depends on the day. We're just going to turn it into a circle today. Yeah, we put a pizza, right? Yep. Because this is the same dough we use for pizza, too. So this is exactly what I would do to make homemade pizza. Hey, Mom, maybe you should work it down. I don't know about that. Okay. So then what we're going to do is transfer our dough. Whoops. Oh, no room here. Transfer our dough onto, um, I just have a round stone. You could put this in a baking, sh baking pan, whatever you have. I usually cook pizza in. All right, so now here's where the difference comes in. You turn this into cheese bread instead of pizza. So what we're going to do is take about a tablespoon or so, tablespoon and a half of butter, and just kind of spread this over your dough. Just going to give it some flavor. Then what I do is put about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, and I'll measure this. Just kind of drizzle the top of this with olive oil. And my hands are messy already, so I'm just going to use my hands for this. And swish that around. And she will wash my hands. Yes. All right, I'll wash my hands. I'll be back. After I wash my hands, I'm going to spread a little bit of garlic salt over the top of this as well. I don't usually measure this out either, but I would say maybe a half of a teaspoon to a teaspoon. Probably closer to a half. All right, sprinkle that over the top. And then I sprinkle some Parmesan cheese over that. That's what you like. Mm. Probably about a quarter of a cup, but again, this is not something I measure either. You can't really do this wrong. Parmesan cheese more. Yeah, making a mess. And then you're going to top it with more mozzarella cheese. cheese. With more cheese. More cheese. You like cheese, don't you? Yeah. And again, make this as cheesy as you like. Okay. Just like what you would do for so pizza. I'm just going to spread this around. And then um, I pre preheat my oven to 425 for this. We're going to cook this for about 12 minutes or so, but just make sure you're keeping an eye on it so that your cheese doesn't get too brown. All right, so we're going to put this in the oven. See you back here in about 12 minutes. After about 14 minutes or so, we're going to pull it out and let it cook just a little bit longer, brown up a little bit more on top. But now our cheese bread is ready to go. So all I do is take my pizza cutter, I usually just cut it in half, and then um, cut it in half again the other way, and then just cut it into little strips, just like cheese stick size. And that is all there is to cheese bread. Thanks for joining us.